as a, as a college student, your alternative is just going on, maybe getting an entry level job. And I thought, hey, I have this idea that I really believe in and, you know, why not go for it? And of course, I've been very fortunate to be joined by incredible people that have helped me along the way to, to build what Sondra has become today. OK, so so take us back. I understand this was, what, nine years ago. It's summer in Montreal. Everyone's trying to get out of Dodge, as it were. And a lot of your your fellow students would leave their their apartments empty. Right. But hold on to them. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the, the problem that we noticed is that Montreal is a place that is incredible uh, during the summer. So many people want to visit. But uh, at the same time, uh, there's uh, thousands of apartments literally that are left empty uh, during the summertime. And so what I thought is, hey, why don't I you know, get these students apartments and, and set them up in a way where they could be hosting travelers instead of being empty during the summer. And so that idea kind of introduced me to the concept that there was quite a lot of innovation that was possible within hospitality. And, 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 and it gave rise to um, you know, the, the brand, the, the, the business that we do today, which is substantially different, uh, but you know, having saw, seen the, the, if the issue as a student initially uh, kind of really enabled me to uh, reflect upon a different way to uh, build the hospitality business. It's just uh, it's spectacular being an entrepreneur, right? In the throes of the pandemic, boy, are we seeing a lot of the difficulties that our small businesses are, are facing right now. You, of course, are not a small business. You've recently, I understand, secured some $550 million in funding from venture capitalists uh, like Amazon's uh, or Jeff Bezos' uh, firm, as well as Alice Rodriguez's firm as well. Yeah, no, it's uh, the hospitality has been uh, it's been a very challenging industry, to say the least, in 2020. Uh, but really, we think that the future is quite bright in terms of the opportunities for innovation. Like one thing that we really love to do at Saunder is leverage technology to offer a different kind of stay, a different experience that essentially live, brings the lobby on your phone and allows you to early like request an early check in on your phone or access services, concierge services, recommendations. The whole thing can be done through your mobile device. And, you know, people now are really conscious that it's it's possible to have a contactless experience in a way that's actually really interesting. So even though 2020 has been absolutely devastating for the industry, it's really kind of educated the consumer to think about ways to interact with a hospitality brand in a way that potentially would have taken 10 years to change those behaviors. But this has all happened in, in the span of, of less than 12 months. Oh, totally. And a lot of tech analysts would say it is tech that's leading the way, that's leading us out of this, uh, this sordid situation with respect to the pandemic. Before I let you go, it's the question I'm sure a lot of young folks want to know right now. What advice do you have uh, for, for the youngsters that really want to get out there and do their own thing too right now? Go for it. Um, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And I think that entrepreneurship is so wonderful as an experience yourself. And frankly, even if you have to fail one, two, three, four times before you see some success, the process is so worth it because you learn incredible amounts. Um, and uh, if you're lucky enough, uh, you get to build something that you will be extremely proud of. And so I, I really urge you to just go for it. All right. Francis Davidson, co-founder and CEO of Sondra, joining us from San Fran. Thank you for your time, sir, and best wishes. Thanks very much.